I love this time of year with the smell of Christmas trees and family dinners and shopping for that perfect gift. But what I love most about the Christmas season is the spirit of generosity that seems to come from people. But the bad part about it is that during this time of year, there'll be many that, that won't experience that generosity. There'll be women who maybe are victims of domestic violence and will be forced out of their home with only a bag of clothes and their children. And there'll be homeless people that will be on the streets uh, looking for just shelter and, and hopefully at least one hot meal. They, they won't experience generosity. They won't experience times with family and hot apple cider and eating till you can't eat anymore and unwrapping gifts and seeing the joy of giving and receiving. Jesus said in John chapter 13 that all men will know that we're followers of his because we show love one to another. Isn't that really what Christmas is all about? That we would show love, that we would simply show the love of Christ to those around us. We're going to be partnering this Christmas season with two organizations and doing just that, just simply showing the love of Christ in a real practical way. The first of those is the Hope House. The Hope House is a house for women who have found themselves without anywhere to live. Some of these women are victims of domestic violence and have in fact had to take their children and just some clothes and leave the house. And the Hope House offers a safe environment for those women to to get back on their feet and, and find a place to begin again. And the second organization we're going to be partnering with is called the Thurman Brisbane Center. And this is the only emergency homeless shelter in this area servicing Fredericksburg City, Stafford, Caroline, King George, and even Spotsylvania County. And their goal is to provide a place of shelter for those who need a place to live and, and need a hot meal. And with the goal of helping them get back on their feet and, and into a stable living environment and a contributing member of society. So here is how you can partner and be a part of this. How can you get involved with what we're calling the Simply Love Campaign? And there are three ways that you can be involved in giving back to the community and expressing the simple love of Jesus in a real practical way. Number one is to pray for these organizations. Pray for these two places that reach and care and offer an extremely valuable service to our community. Number two is that you would maybe practice uncommon generosity. That maybe you would go without a, a peppermint mocha or your family would decide we won't get that one extra gift, but we're going to take that money and give it towards these two organizations. And here's how that can happen. On Christmas Eve, we typically take up an offering to help offset the expenses of that service. It's one of our greatest services of the year. We reach many people through it, but it costs a lot to put it on. And so we typically take an offering to help offset those expenses. Well, this year, we are going to take 50% of that offering and give it away to these two organizations to help offset some of their expenses. It's not cheap to do what they do day after day, and they depend on the donations and the gifts of people just like you and just like me. And so we have a great opportunity to give, and so I want to challenge you to begin to consider and pray now and say, Lord, how could I be a part of this? What could maybe I sacrifice, and what could I maybe go without for just a couple of days to be able to offer a gift to help out these two organizations? And then finally, we've been given some names of women and children from the Hope House that this year would love to have some Christmas gifts, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to unless you and I come through. And so back at the information table this morning, we have names and ages and sizes and all the information you need. And if you would consider maybe stopping by today and picking up one of those cards, going out, purchasing the gift, Kristen Slay will be back at the information table. She'll tell you where to bring it, how to wrap it, everything that you need to know. But would you consider partnering? So number one, is to pray for these organizations. Pray God would use them and bless them as they continue to be a valuable asset to our community. Number two, that you would consider giving. Maybe you'll skip that peppermint mocha or maybe you won't buy that extra gift and you'll give that money to the Christmas Eve offering, the Simply Love campaign. And finally, that maybe this morning you would feel led to stop by the information table and pick up some information on how to purchase some gifts for some people that are greatly in need. God has called us to uncommon generosity. And we understand that as we give, we position ourselves in a place of blessing. So this year, I challenge you as we peel back the layers and see what Simply Christmas is all about, that you would find in your heart that it's simply about love, about showing the love of Christ that He showed to us so greatly through His Son on the cross.